We're here with Kent and his 2021 Toyota Mark V Supra, which he's lovingly called Purpura for the purple wrap. But uh, before we get into that, tell us a bit about the car, kind of what you've done so far to it. Yeah, so I've kind of got a super basic build on this, but I have a CTS turbo intake, mm -hmm. which makes the turbos sound absolutely ridiculous. Okay, really brings it up, uh, brings it to life. Yeah. And the the blow off noise is crazy. I haven't okay. heard a car that you can just throw an intake on. It sounds that crazy. Okay, and great. Then the only other power mod that I have is just a catless downpipe. Okay, and that catless downpipe really opened it up. It needed that. Right, blow right, on. yeah. It sounds so much better with that. And then I have a JB4 piggyback for like a ECU. It's not a real tune, and I don't really like the JB4 that much. Okay. Because it has caused me a little bit of issues on the car. Interesting. Um, but I have a locked ECU since this is a 2021, right. so I can't do a tune. You can't crack it open yet, yeah, without but, voiding the warranty. Well, I'm, I'm out of warranty at this point, but okay. I have to ship the ECU to Finland. Oh, okay. To get it unlocked. To Finland. Okay. Yeah. Wow. Interesting. Yeah. That's There's quite a journey. One company that can do it. So that those are the only ones that you can do. And then you can get a real tune after that. Oh, got it. Okay, great. All right. So tell us then a bit about, you said you, you wrapped it. The car originally came in what color? So this is silver. Okay. So, yep. Yeah. Oh, there we go. Underneath. Over here. Okay. Yeah. Star yeah. life is silver. The silver was a little bit boring. So I kind of wanted to spice it up a lot. So I did this purple wrap and then the livery over it which I did with the company that I was previously working for. And mm -hmm. just this wrap and livery has like, it made the car pop so much more. I think it looks yeah. way better and it gets a it definitely stands out. Too. Yeah. Uh, and then I have lowering springs as well. So my fitment is pretty good here. Yep. And then I'm on variant wheels and Nitto NT triple five G two tires. And so how did you decide to uh, choose the variants? So I was actually working with Variant at the oh, time okay, with great. the production company, and I really liked the wheel options that they had as well. I think they look really good. The white is the one thing that I do regret, because as you can see, it never gets clean. Yeah, yeah, very hard to keep clean. I, I used to wash them twice to three times a week just oh, to try geez. and keep them clean, and I believe it or not, I did wash this yesterday. <laughs> wow, okay. So this is just from Cars and Coffee in this morning. Yeah, yeah, geez, yeah, white's a... Uh... Tough to keep clean. Yeah. yeah. I'm not doing that one again for yeah. sure. Well, you know, lesson learned. You yeah. Know. All right. We're going to the back here. So tell us a bit about, you know, the, the livery extends to the back. But tell us kind of your inspiration for, for I guess, the, the design of the livery. So <laughs> this is a little bit mean, but I copied somebody. Okay. They had a Supra and they had a very, very similar livery. Yeah. And I just thought, oh, that looks so cool. And I've always loved race inspired livery. Yeah, it definitely looks like it's race inspired like the gt4 cars and stuff like that to where they'll do a really cool livery on them for racing so i always wanted to do that on a car and the purple looked good when it was just purple, purple but this has another dimension right yeah, it makes it pop so much more and it's way more unique and with the white lines like this yep blowing and the white wheels it kind of like is such a perfect yeah mix as a whole and then in the back here, you said you have uh, done a little something to the back? Yeah, I have just this little carbon fiber duck bill spoiler. And this uh, is just on by 3M tape, which I'm kind of like, I'm very surprised it is okay. on this long. But it definitely adds like a little bit. I would like to do a full wing on this car because I feel like that would definitely add to the yes, presence definitely. of it for sure. But for right now, this is a little, little wing that I've got. Tell us kind of, you know, looking back on what you've done so far, what's something uh, along the way that you would have done different? I, I mean, there's so many things that I would have changed on this build. Okay. Even though I love the way it looks right now and I think it's great, I think a couple of the things that I would have switched is I would have never done the JB4. Okay. So that one was like super big for me, but it was pretty new in the car and there wasn't the ability to even ship it off to Finland at okay. the time. Um, but I think I would have just left it without the ECU tune. Mm -hmm. And I probably would have started with a catback okay. cost instead of doing the downpipe as well. Got it. Okay. Uh, and then other than that, also the wing for sure. Got it. Okay. Well, there's still plenty of things to do. So tell us, I mean, tell us then what are, what are the plans you have for the car? So I would love to do the wing for yep. sure. I think that I would probably want to redo the livery and wrap on this car because I've had it for a while. Uh huh. And then the white is not so much fun. Uh, yeah. And also, just to add to the arrow, I think a rear diffuser and a front splitter yeah. just would make the presence so much better. Yeah, definitely. Okay, awesome. Well, we're excited to see what you do with the car, and uh, thanks for coming by. I appreciate it. Of course. Thank you. Thank you.